hear what you're saying, and um, generally that would be correct. However, if the combatant in question, Mr. Ben Askren, and again, I like Ben. I'm not trying to shit on Ben. I like him. I think he's a great guy. He's a very smart guy. He's obviously a hell of a wrestler. And he had a great fight career. Full respect. But the, your point, what you just made, would hold some water had he not been famously knocked out in five seconds. He's the, the, he's the recipient of the fastest knockout ever. What does that say to casuals? And that is doing the rounds. Jake Paul is publicizing that. He's talking about that all the time. Jake Paul and Masvidal have got this little bromance going on, you know what I mean? And, and that is played continuously. So it shows that this guy has at least, and he doesn't have a propensity to being knocked out. He didn't get knocked out a lot over his career, but it shows to these casuals, these same casuals that you're talking about. Super highly skilled. I mean, these are two guys that are that are uh, entering their prime. Uh, where, where he's highly skilled. I believe I have the skills to to, to match it or, or even be even better. So uh, the the fight fans are in for a nice nice fight, you know. And that's why I've always liked this fight. It's just because I think the styles mesh up really well, and it's going to be a really exciting fight. Hoping you can go out and dominate him. I'm hoping I can go out and dominate him, right? <laughs> but I'm expecting uh, an absolute war. Like you said, we're both very well-rounded. Uh, he's got dangerous power. He can wrestle, grapple. He's tough as nails. I can do the same. It's, um, yeah, I, I expect the, you know, the worst. Hope for the best. Rob, I feel throughout your career, there'll be something like you'll do an interview, a quote will get taken, and then a narrative will just get yeah. formed about it forever. <laughs> Is the narrative that you're not really interested in a rematch with Israel the weirdest one you've had to hear? Uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know who, who does this stuff. You know, if I ever find out, I don't know, <laughs> I'll give him a stern talking to or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess things just... That's the problem with, with how I, I get... One of the, the drawbacks with how I choose to operate is just that sometimes people can do that, you know. But I'm, I'm just doing my thing. This is my path. This is my journey. And um, I'm pretty... Comfortable just being me. We are with Funky Ben Askren. And Ben, what did you take away one day away from your main event matchup against Jake Paul? What's going through your mind? What did you take away from the stare down? I thought, I thought Jake Paul's cheerleading squad was quite rude. We got legendary Michael Buffer up here. These motherfuckers are interrupting him. That was terrible. Rude, guys. So what's your prediction for tomorrow night? How's it going down? Uh, seventh round TKO. All right. We did Jake Paul. Jake, we are a day away from your main event matchup against Ben Askren. I'm going to ask you the same thing. When you looked into his eyes, what did you see? Uh, I see a guy who's underestimating me. I see a guy who's taking this as a joke. I see a guy who said, I have to take a shit 
in the face off. Uh, this is this is the last 24 hours that we will all have to hear of Ben Askren, and uh, this one this one means a lot to me. And this one's this one's for Shadow. Well, you certainly are fighting with the heavy heart. Shadow being your bodyguard who passed away. And he mentioned, I believe you said that he predicted 228 of the first round. Are you sticking with that prediction that you're going to finish off Ben Askren in that time? You know, we'll, we'll see. But uh, I, don't, I don't think he makes it out of two rounds. I mean, look at the guy. He's got a, he's got a beer belly. So he clearly didn't take training camp seriously. And uh, hey, look, we all did the talking. We did the entertainment shit. But now it's time to let the fist fly. My craft, this is my job, so I watch things very serious. I'm so intelligent in this field that I don't need a notepad and paper, but I'm just like this when I'm watching it. And um, I took a lot away from it, you know? He is literally the same guy that I fought right before. Literally the same guy. Now, granted, Gilbert ran into his jab, and then Gilbert kind of gave up after that. But uh, to me, as far as, like, skill set goes, hasn't improved anything. And his will's still the same, you know? If the guy, like, folds and gives into his will, He'll ride that out. But if somebody comes back and fights in them and wrestles into him, he, he doesn't have it in him. And he, he don't have that manliness in him. And it, and it showed when we fought. You know, he had chances to, like, throw blows with me because I was tired from wrestling. And what would he do? Just keep hugging me. He's awkward dancing with me and rubbing feet with me. I'm like, man, we're getting paid to fight. And you're trying to rub feet? Cool, bro. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens when I got a little bit more than six days to prepare for your ass. All I know is that he's taking a right now in his pants, you know. Because how, how do you fight me on six-day notice? And you have no intentions to try to hurt me, to, to even land like a blow and follow up on it or try to, you know, choke me or break my arm with an arm bar or something. So I, I just know that he knows that I'm going to have gas for five rounds and he's going to have to put up with that fucking insane pace of me trying to just end him from start to finish. In order to be satisfied this time, what do you need to do? I, I don't think, uh, honestly, I don't think I broke him the way that I wanted to break, break him. Um, there's something that satisfies me when I, when I fight guys is, and that's, that's the thing that, and I, I believe years ago, John spoke about this. It's uh, when you're in there with that opponent, it's a, there's an intimate moment. It's such an intimate moment there to where only you and that guy know what's going on. Only you and that guy know how hard he hits you. Only you and that guy know, you know, how, how hard I, I'm, how hard I'm coming at you. And um, with Masvidal, I don't think I fully broke him the way that I wanted to. With everyone else, I, can, I know when I broke him. I know when I broke their spirit. I know when I broke their heart. And with him, I don't feel like I fully got there. And so, um, you know, that's really what I'm after. That's what's, what's addicting to me. That's why I continue to do this, is being able to break the guy to where when they wake up in the morning and they have to think about me, they just know that guy's better than me.